it's time for me to tell you why the Women's World Cup is a bit rubbish and why we should stop pretending it's good. Bear with me. The Lionesses have roared loud and made us very proud, but what is going on with this whole thing? I want to know why we're being pushed so hard to support women's football. I actually do watch some of the games, but generally I don't because I find the standard to be too low compared to the men's version, which is the pinnacle of the game. That's the same reason I don't watch men's lower league football because it's just not that good too. Anyone who says different is lying to you and to themselves. Yet with the women's game and indeed their World Cup, we're being fed positive yet misleading statements and facts to make us all believe that women's football is now super popular. Women's World Cup organizer FIFA claimed ticket sales for this year's event will make it the most attended standalone women's sporting event in history, but they failed to inform us that thousands of tickets have been given away for free because of low ticket sales. They also didn't like to admit that tickets to the greatest tournament on earth are going for as little as five pound a pop. When it comes to the fundamentals of football, passing, striking, controlling the ball, I admit the very best female players are experts at that. But the advantage that men have is down to their naturally stronger, faster, more explosive movements. That's why the men's game is more physical, it's quicker, it's more entertaining. So why are the powers that be doing such a disservice to women by overhyping the interest in their game? It can't be for money because the women's game loses cash and is heavily subsidized by the men's game. Women's football has become that taboo topic which we're not allowed to criticize or speak about honestly like trans women in sport, for example. We're patronizing women by ignoring the flaws in the game. I want the women's game to grow. And that's gonna take time, but we can't force it down people's throats in an act of rapid revolution because society now thinks that we should. If you really wanna see the female game improve, you have to buy into it properly. Posting a few tweets every time there's a World Cup, that's not enough. When those women go back to their domestic clubs, you need to buy tickets to watch them play in both home and away games. Your support must be like the men's game. Until that happens, all we will keep seeing is women footballers as second-class citizens. I told no lies, you'll be offended, but I'm speaking facts. Narinda? I'm just astounded at everything you've just said. Like, Thank how you. dare you? Wait, what? You're <laughs> quite, these women are playing their guts off. They fall down, they get up. Men, football players in the Premier League, are idiots on the field and off the field, and they are Correct. overpaid. They they fall, they dive, they play act, and they're disgusted. Women football, they play the game with courage, with determination. Have you watched? And guess what? No play acting. Have you watched the Women's World Cup? They're amazing. And guess what? At least they got far. Where did the oh. men's? Where they did England? They got far. They got where, far against other women. It's not no, the same. and England men's football. Where did they get, JJ? What have they ever won, JJ? What have they won? What has the England football male oh, team good won? Grief. Nothing. Good grief. Good the grief. women's has won. All right, put a sock in it for a second. <laughs> Esther. I mean, Esther. The thing, I made the point that I don't watch women's football. That doesn't mean I don't watch women's sports. I watch women's tennis. I mm -hmm. watch women's athletics. I watch women's gymnastics. Uh, there's a reason why I prefer to watch, for instance, women's gymnastics over men's gymnastics. And never, no one ever makes noise about that. No one ever says, oh, it's not fair to the men that Esther only watch women's gymnastics. Here's the issue with women's football. The pitches are too big. The, the goalkeepers look like children yeah. because they don't have the width span of the male fo uh, football um, goalkeepers. Well, I know you size know. matters to you, Esther, but well, you size, know. Size, size matters to you, <laughs> we know that about it. No, but this is the thing, but it affects the optics of the game uh -huh. because the thing is, if you don't have a pitch that's, that, that's you know, that, uh, that fits the size and um, the speed of the athlete. It's like watching football in slow motion. Their passes take longer. You know, the, the football, um, the goalkeepers are not as effective. It's not It's not about being sexist or not wanting support. It's just, it doesn't look good. It's not a good game to watch. I just think that's very unfair to say because actually, you know, the, when you go to a women's football, it's kinder, the crowds are nicer. It's a family feel. Yeah, Men's great. football still have is eyes. full of racism. It's full of um, violence. They're fighting. You know yeah. what? Men's yeah. football, they are hooligans. Women's, yeah. it's family, it's nice. What's your nice. point? Correct. Uh, uh, What's your uh, point? I'll, I'll nice. be honest. They're I, an embarrassment to I the rest of the world. I love seeing male football games because the energy and the stadium is honestly electric. Listen. I a room full of testosterone. A room full Listen. of testosterone. Abusive. Okay, but no, no, forget about what's happening off the pitch because you're going to get racism at football games. Unfortunately, that, oh, that's I, it's even, part of society. But let's talk about actual women's football. The best women's national team of all time, Lost, arguably, is, is the boys. USA. Yeah, USA women's national team, right? fantastic. They're the most, they've won more trophies than anyone else, okay? They lost to under 15 boys team. That's, that means they played boys who are aged 13 to 15 and they lost. So they also played, wait, no, 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 let me finish. They also played Wrexham. You know Wrexham, the team that's owned by Ryan Reynolds? <laughs> they're a 
barely a, a professional outfit. They lost 12 nil to them just two, three months ago. So, 12 nil. so my point is this. Terrible. My point is my that's point. That's England it. have never lost to other teams. England, the main no, no. England team, England have not men's lost. Team, they England men's team have never lost to a women's football team. They've never lost to under 15 year old girls. Oh, that's never no, happened. That doesn't matter. That, that doesn't matter. That's the whole right. point. It doesn't matter. That's, that's the whole point. That's just a little, 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 little thing in the whole big. Now you're the being big scheme. The big scheme you're of things. We need to encourage women playing football. There is no other encourage to hide the fact that it's terrible. Inspire do you think, girls. What team do you support? I don't, I'm not really into that. that, that, that ding, yeah. ding, 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 ding. Because Great. I think, so, I think men's football conversation is a disgrace. Over. Men's well, football is a disgrace. You're not a football okay. watcher. Overpaid. Just talking. Overpaid. No, it's yeah, because you're I'm just a... a look, I, 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 I stop talking over each other. I don't stop, watch stop. football because it's a disgrace. I watch it and I feel that okay. en bad energy. Women's football bad. is good. Narinda, Narinda, listen, listen to me. And this is my whole point about it. If you want to support women's football, yes. you can't just watch the Lionesses play the World Cup. You have to watch every single women's game well, in the World Cup. It will happen, JJ. It will happen. Oh, but you're not doing it now. It why, will why will it happen? No, Do I watch now. the women's, but I don't watch Did you watch every game? So look, but Did you watch be... every game? No, no, but, no, so I don't. Happening. So do it. But now. there'll be some girls who will, and it's inspiring. They're not. But they're to... not. But they're not. I'll the tell you what. Let's put the kitchen back. Let's put women back in the kitchen. Then there uh, you go. I'm have curious. it your way. I'm oh, curious. Grief. Can you tell me um, some some of the women's football leagues? Can you like you know? Of course you can't. Yeah. No. no name no, five women's football teams. No, I don't want to. And it's irrelevant. No. Can you name? No, it's not relevant. Here's here's the thing. I spoke to you about the fact that men are better at football in terms of the play against the women. And they've played the women and that's been proven, right? That's been proven. But even when you go to other sports, in the UFC, the highest paid athlete at one point was a woman called Wanda Rousey. Yeah. Because she drew entertainment. People paid to watch her. If people are not paying to watch women's football, it ain't going to grow. They are and, and watching it, it no, though. But they're watching because they're giving tickets for free. Because you're they're paying know. five pound a we ticket for a World Cup game. To, well, so it's cheaper as well. Can you men's imagine? football is overpaid. The World Cup, like the World Cup in Qatar, was five quid a game. Exactly. <laughs> well, it should have been. Why are you trying to say? Would you have said Lorinda. pay five hundred pound a ticket? It should be five pound a ticket. We're in a cost of living crisis. What just happened, Narinda? JJ, listen. Even the TV ratings for women's football for the World Cup is in the toilet. This is not some big success. And this is my point. It's instead, instead of instead of the powers that be making us believe that it's a super success, when actually, if anyone who does their homework reads it and says, well, stadiums are half empty, people aren't watching on TV, we were given tickets away for free. You have to give then, then, then be honest about it. And, let, and let's say, let's say, let's put it in a smaller area then. Esther's right it'll about it. It'll never grow. It will never of course grow it'll that grow. way. It'll take, we it'll take time. We need to We need to... We can't just say, OK, it's a bit rubbish for one year, that's it. It's no, not give up. Year, it's we rubbish. Brits don't give up. We encourage our oh, women... Oh, now you want to support the Brits and our No, our, our I'm attitude. saying women, <laughs> Brits, like to encourage other Brits. Come on, you've got to support your women. I'm disgusted. Is, I'm Are you two sat here, yeah? And you know what it's like to be oppressed, yeah? You should be encouraging women. <laughs> As people of colour, we you've should know it. better. Oh, you good really grief. Should know Listen, you, you've really, really You're lost it. You've women. lost. You I, have I, lost I, the I am not blind. Narinda, why are we? Blind. Why are we pushing women's football? Why not women's netball? Why not women's do, mixed martial gymnastics. arts instead? Why not women's gymnastics? But you, Why not that? you, don't, you, you can't compare like men's tennis to women's tennis. You it's can. different. Yes, yeah, Serena Williams. You, Serena Williams said herself. She said she played Andy Williams. No. If she played uh, Andy Williams, if she played Andy Murray, Andy Williams is a singer. Listen. Listen, Serena Williams said if she played Andy Murray, who she's friends with, she said she would lose every time. She six lost nil, to the nil, guy nil, who was 260th, I think. Yeah, exactly. You can't compare. However, however, Serena Williams gets paid, well, used to get paid a lot of money to be a tennis player because she was still entertaining to watch. The women's game for football is not that entertaining. I think it which is, is why, how can you say this? You're but sitting here trying to defend women's football. football. You don't even I watch, watch it. the Lionesses, I watch the well, main ones. You don't ones. watch football They're in general. Not the main what ones. are you comparing it to? Exactly. To men's football that I watch that the World Cup. you don't watch. No, I watch the World Cup and all of that. Oh, what I'm saying rubbish. is that women's football, you can't put it down. You've got to give it time. It's not fair. And you've got to encourage women and girls to have a dream. What's wrong with that? Let you me, can't let make it let realistic then. Can I just get the last word? Trying to encourage people to like women's football is like trying to get men to like fat women. It's, well, against our, so it's, against, it's against our biology. It's against our biology. It is. It is. It's it's a, no amount of social conditioning will make they people do. like things they don't want to like. Actually, <laughs> it's the truth. Esther, I am. No a, one. I'm aghast. Lizzo is as hot as Beyonce. Period. <laughs> oh my God! Some men prefer well, look, a Narinda, Canadian I'm sorry. Lady. I'm sorry. She said she wanted the last word. I've got to give it to her because on this show we're fair to all sexes.